Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. Welcome to another ink review. Today we're looking at <coughs> uh, a red ink from Troublemaker Basilica Red. This was apparently an ink flight number 39. This is um, an April Fool's um, thing. This was day 7, I think. So, this is Troublemaker Ink Basilica Red. Thanks go out to Gary and Kathy Scott for providing the sample for this review. Do it every time, I always forget. Here is our ink swatch and water resistance test shows that I might not want to use this on the outside of an envelope for fear it may wash away. <coughs> Here is our ink splotch. Looks nice, but it'll make a wonderful postcard one day. Here is our inks, our uh, uh, toilet paper chromatography and all I see is red and then just the very lightest hint of green coming out. I don't know if you can see that or not but there's like a, a very light green coming out. That's very interesting. I didn't expect green. Why the red they cancel each other out. Weird. Alright let's take a look at some inks. Shall we? This is the Pen and Gear Memo Book from Walmart.com. We're going to zoom in just a little bit. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. <coughs> this is Lightweight Traveler's Notebook Paper. It does look like it has a little bit of what looks like red sheen. You can see it right there in the sea. It's got just the tiniest hint of sheen. I didn't see that before. There's no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is super lightweight traveler's notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, normal ghosting. Moleskin 70 GSM. Oi, feather like a chicken, bled through the page. I would not use fountain pen ink with this paper. <clears throat> Come on, moleskin, get it together. Alright, this is 52 GSM Tumaway River paper. I know I'm not hallucinating things. I do see a little bit of sheen. Oh. No, it's not doing it today in this one. I don't know why. Anyway. Oops. Alright, this is uh, 52 GSM to my river paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Ayush. 100 GSM paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. <coughs> this is 80 GSM Rhodia dot pad. And it is feathering into the page. And it did bleed through. How disappointing. That's weird. Interesting. The Jot Journal from the Dollar Tree. It does look like it's trying to spread into the page. I'm gonna zoom in just a little more because it does look like it's trying to feather into the page. But no, a little bit of ghosting too. This is <coughs> uh, 
Nemesine eli GSM. And again, it's feathering into the page. And it did ghost through the page. This is <coughs> Oxford Optic Paper. Feather like a chicken. Bled to the page. That's really sad. The Premier Premium Journal from the 99 cent store. Feather like a chicken. Bled through the page. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM. Feather like a chicken. Ghosted through the page. Lamy Booklet, 90 GSM. Feather like a chicken. Bled through the page. This is not a very cooperative ink. Exceed 100 GSM heavyweight paper from Walmart.com. Feather like a chicken. Bled through the page. Unison composition book. Here's the real test. crisp lines, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is the stuff, I'm telling you. 50 cents from Target. Best stuff on the market. True Red Composition Book from Staples.com. Oi! Totally spread into the page, and it bled through, and it went through the page. I would not use fountain pen ink on this paper. Fabriano Eco Qua, 85 GSM. It does look like it's trying to spread into the page. Ooh, and there's just a hint of ghosting. It's not done that before, just a hint of ghosting. That's too bad. 52, I'm sorry, uh, the Nanami Seven Seas, 68 GSM, Tomoe River Paper. Tomoe River Paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting good paper. Alright, CVS Caliber Notebook Paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Excellent paper. Oxford Notebook Paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Excellent paper. Made Wide Roll Notebook Paper. Oi! Feather like a chicken, blood through the page. I would not use the back side. I would not use this paper with fountain pen ink. Five star notebook paper. Oi. Feather like a chicken, blood through the page. I would not use fountain pen ink with this paper. <coughs> HP Premium, 32 pound copy paper. Oi. Spread into the page and ghosted through. Acabe cross section pad. It does look like it spread into the page and it did ghost through the page. JNB copper plate graph pad from John Nailbooks.com. Oi! Feather like a chicken, blood through the page. Original Crown Mill, 100 GSM paper. Feather like a chicken, blood through the page. That's too bad. This is not a great, not a very cooperative ink with some of these inks. Let's do a why are you sticking? Stop it.
Let's do a comparison panel. <clears throat> Okay, where does this lie? <coughs> this lies in the brown and in the red departments. A reddish, a brownish red color. To me. So we're going to take a look at some reds. This is, now these are just for comparison purposes. These are probably not color accurate to your eye. So I always encourage people that if you're interested in this red to check out the comparison if you have one of these types of reds look at that red and then look how much darker or lighter it, or lighter it is compared to this color so say I have Rouge d'Orient and it looks pur more purpley than this then you can look at it with your eye and be like okay well this is more purpley than this one you'll have a great you have a good idea about how close it would be to the nearest color that you might have already this is another purpley red ink this is kind of a more pinky red ink <clears throat> so so forth so on and so forth so This is Ferris Wheel Press, Royal Rhubarb, Caveco Ruby Red, Monarca Cardona. I'm going to move these up just a smidge. Jabon Rouge d'Orient, Sailor Manyo Umi, Noodler's Black Swan and English Roses. New uh, Diamine Raspberry Rose, Diamine Deep Dark Red, Diamine Robert, Monteverde Blueberry Muffin, Stipula Dark Red, Colorverse Dark Energy, Colorverse Hubble Zoom, Diamine Oxblood, Stipula Dark Red, Monteverde Cherry Danish, Bakersfield Food Color Red, Vinta Inks Cicatuna. Well, these are kind of similar in the swatches, anyway. Diatramentus Oriental Red. Well, these are getting kind of close. Robert Oster Aster Kizarot. You can kind of tell by looking at the swatches if they might be the same shade of ink. Sailor Gentle Grenade. See, this one's a little more pink than this one. Monteverdi Passion Burgundy. Diatramentus Document Red. Document Dark Red. K to BZ Red Candy. Pure Pence Cud Walder. Diamine Matador. Now we're getting into the redder reds. K to BZ Red Number One. KWZ Thief's Red, Twisby Crimson, Diamond <coughs> Noodlers, Rattlers, Red Eel, Diamond Vermilion, Malt Tiberity Strawberry Shortcake, Hero Red Number 201, Parker Quink Red, Colorverse Alpha Scorpy, that's a very pink red. Hi Carlos, how are you doing today? Mont Blanc Medina Red, Krishna Primary Red, Diamine Firestorm, okay thanks, good, Diamine Coral, this is a very pink red, Diamine Flamingo Pink, also a very pink red, which I think that I'm going to move these into the pink department because they're more pink than red. Tasha Aka Red, Stipula Florentine Red, Monteverde Love Red, Ferris Wheel Press Algonquin Maple, Monteverde Valentine Red, Waterman Audacious Red, Sailor Irori, 
Uli Red, Colorverse Felicity Glistening, KWZ Sparkling Cranberry, Ackerman Charlock and Von Janstein, <coughs> uh, uh, Document Red, Diamond Red Robin, and Robert Oster Aster Kizarat. <coughs> I got the Mont Blanc Medina Red from the OC Pen Club. Came in a little tiny bottle. A little tiny vial. Nope, that's not the one. Came in a little tiny vial like this. When you come to the next OC Pen Club, there will there's still a couple there. At least last time I was there, so... August 6th. Saturday, August 6th. And I will be giving the next presentation. So that is going to be lots of fun. Look forward to that. Okay, the, the, brownie, the reddest brown that I have is Noodler's Red Black. So far, Jabon, Ancre Brun, um, and that's really about it. Tasha Umi Murasaki, Monteverde Brown Sugar, Robert Oster Hippo Purple, Noodler's Beaver, Private Reserve Vampire Red. This one's more of a more brownie red. Six at noon, yes, noon to three p.m. That's right. I have no idea how I'm gonna get all of my stuff there. I have many books that I'm gonna be giving away, so. It's going to be a good time. We're going to play a little game. And um, it's going to be like a game show. It's going to be great. I can't wait. Let me just make sure... Oops. Yes, Sunday, uh, Saturday, August 6th at noon. So, mark that down in your calendars. If you're going to come, let me know. I'd love to see you. I'm going to be nervous as all get out. It's the first time I've done a presentation in a very long time. <laughs> It's going to be great. Anyway, what did you guys think of today's ink? Are you guys looking for a, a, a reddish brown ink? A, a, a brownie red ink? Yes, you're a doctor. Yes. I have to deal with public relations all the time. I'm used to talking to people, just not so, not in such big groups. Five, let's see, the last meeting that I had had about ten people, eleven, there was eleven people, but um, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. I have some things that I'm going to pass around so you guys can have a good look. And uh, we got a new ink table, which is going to be exciting. So you guys will be able to come over and check out some inks. I'm going to I'm gonna bottle some inks up and start getting ready for uh, the... Um, 
like autumn season I'm gonna in um, bottle up some autumn like colors I want to put some oranges and browns and uh, Maybe even some some inks that I have. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, rambling right along. That is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed that one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this, Please share this video with, with your friends. Follow me on, Follow social, me on social media. Like, like comment, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Ring, the little, bell. Ring the little bell. Make sure, Make sure it's set to all. So when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Okay, love you. Bye. Have a great day.